Hey guys, what's up? This is Edgemeister and welcome back to another Destiny video. So today, you may be thinking, what? When did you get all level 32s? Well, actually, this is my brother's account. He has recently gotten all of the exotics, at least all the exotic weapons in the game. So yeah, he has uh, some exotics here. As you can see, he's actually using an exotic currently as a primary in each of them, so I'm going to have to go over all of them. But uh, yeah, my my brother, he's uh, he's been playing a lot more than me. Now, if you look at some of my uh, videos on Halo Reach and stuff, you'll notice that my gamer tag is Chris Wardock, and that is because that is the account that me and my brother use on the Xbox 360. Whereas on the Xbox One, he doesn't have one yet, so I'm Edge Master Games. So let's check out his uh, Hunter first. So let's go ahead and go to the tower. And let's check what exotics he has on him currently. So Red Death he has. I have this one as well. He has also recently gotten this one from Zerk. He hasn't been playing too much. But the perks that Red Death has are unflinching, which makes this easier to aim while under fire. And Red Death. <laughs> no, that was kind of a voice crack there. Red Death. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads, which is really, really good. Also... It just has pretty good stats. Um, you can two shot people in the head if you do it correctly. So he also has the Vex Mythoclast. I mean, of course, he has everything. Oh, and we're at the tower. Let me finish off these guys. So he has the Vex right here. So its unique perks are Zen Moment, causing, causing, causing damage with this weapon increases the stability, and Crowd Control. Kills with this weapon increases grant bonus damage for a short time also um, it has this over here this weapon has no charge time this is actually classified as a fusion rifle so it's, it's you fire it like an auto rifle uh, necrochasm which is the one he just just got um, very recently uh, so this was the final piece to his collection so we have curse bringer precision kills of this weapon frequently cause a Cursed Thrall Explosion and a Range Finder. Aiming this weapon increases the effect of range. So, um, it's it's okay. I'm going to ask if I can play it on his account and try try out Necrochasm. But yeah, he also has Universal Universal, universal Remote here. Uh, which it looks like it hasn't done anything to it. So the unique perks for this guy is obviously it's actually a primary shotgun. The only one in the game. So we have Crowd Control. Kills this weapon grab bonus damage for a short time and a universal remote, which is obviously the name of the gun. Uh, range, of, range and precision damage increases greatly while aiming down sights. So yeah, let's look. He has uh, Plan C here as well. So his unique perks are hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip, and Plan C. Charge and equip times are very short immediately after a weapon swap. So uh, yeah, it looks like it has huge impact. Uh, rate of fire is very low and range is pretty good. So let's see if he has any here. Yes, he has Dragon's Breath. So its unique perks are Tripod. This what launcher's tube can hold three shells, which I believe it is the only gun in the game that does that. I don't know why it says two there, but it is three. And Pyromancer. Rounds fired from this weapon leave a solar flare upon detonation. So there you go. There you have it. I'm, I'm not going to go over uh, uh, <laughs> uh, armor pieces because that'd take too long. Let's look in his vault. And then we'll just go to his other characters. And I'll go ahead and cut to them. So I don't know why his armor vault is completely empty. It's kind of weird. But let's look at his weapons. So we have super good advice. It has crowd control. Kills this weapon ground bonus damage for a short time. And super good advice. Almost all of your shots that miss your targets will return to your magazine. Which uh, I haven't used this guy. But the fact that it has huge rate of fire means that it's probably going to be very good. So next up we have bad juju. Which because of the recent pulse rifle buff is very very good again I do not have this one I have red death though red death is really really good so hip fire this weapon has bonus accuracy while aiming from the hip which I like 
I haven't used it yet though obviously, and string of curses. After each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will help charge your super. Now I believe this was my brother's very first exotic. My very first exotic was actually Icebreaker. So next up on the list we have Mita Multi-Tool. So it's a uh, scout rifle. Its unique perks are third eye, radar stays active while aiming down weapon sights, and Mita Multi-Tool. This weapon boosts move speed and fires at a, on a hair trigger. Blech. However, there is actually a scout rifle that can fire faster. Next up we have Pocket Affinity, the f another fusion rifle, the only other fusion rifle. So it has surplus, expect to find more ammo for this weapon, and Pocket Affinity. Fires in full auto mode has a char chance to return rounds that miss to the magazine. Okay. So next up we have the second row. So we have Thorn. Oh, it looks like he has uh, extras, like an extra Plan C. And uh, yes, he has extras. So we ha we have a uh, Thorn here, which is a hand cannon. Uh, final round. The last round in each magazine deals bonus damage and Mark of the Devourer. Rounds pierce targets and cause lingering damage over time. This perk makes the gun. It just makes it. So we already did Plan C. Uh, Thunderlord. All right. So this guy is considered one of the best uh, machine guns in the game. There are others, legendaries that may be better, but this is one of, definitely one of the best. So we have Killing Frenzy. Kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time, and lightning rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held down, which doesn't sound very good for PvP, but eh. Looks like he used it a lot. Actually, is it the old one or the new one? Let's see. Oh, it's it's the old one. He hasn't upgraded all of them. As you can see, lots of them still go to 300 attack, but he has them, so nevertheless. We have l the last word, which I really, really want to try out. Uh, we have hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while aiming from the hip. And last word, bonus damage, instability, extra position damage when firing from the hip. So, pretty much you have to hip fire. Well, you don't have to, but yeah. Also, may I mention right now that uh, he does not have all the exotics. The three PlayStation exclusive ones he does not have because this is Xbox. Um, those would be... Uh, What's it called? Monte Carlo, the Fourth Horseman, and damn it, what's the po there's a uh, hand cannon? What's it called? I'll re I'll remember it later on, then I'll mention it. So he also has invective, which I believe is his second one. I don't think he uses it too much, as you can tell. So we have final round. The last round in the magazine deals bonus damage and invective, which regenerates your ammo. So that's pretty good. Next up we have the best gun in the entire game, No Land Beyond. This is an exotic sniper rifle that goes in your primary. Crazy, right? So we have Mulligan, missing a shot is a chance to return the ammo directly into the magazine. And the Master, increased precision damage, kills briefly increased damage against the next target. The best gun in the entire game. If you get this, I recommend you use this all the time. No matter what, okay? Everything, just dismantle all the other exotics, just use that one. Next up we have Icebreaker, which I have and I really enjoy. Uh, this one is very unique because it, it, of this guy right here, no backpack. It cannot be reloaded, but the ammo actually regenerates. So it's very, very good because of that. We have Mulligan, missing a shot as a chance to turn ammo directly into the magazine. And Icebreaker, which if you shoot people it has a chance to spontaneously combust dealing, dealing damage to nearby enemies and it's very satisfying to have people explode and it, it's kinda pointless in the crucible but it's very satisfying to see them explode <laughs> nevertheless then we have Cyril's regime which used to be a very good weapon until the uh, recent auto rifle nerf I actually just got this weapon I'm doing Volta Glass, so yeah. So we have Focused Fire. When zoomed, this weapon fires slower but causes additional damage. And Soros Regime. The bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage. 
And then we have the weapon that I really, really want, that everybody really, really wants, that I should just dismantle for my brother. Just kidding, I would never do that. Um, yes, we have Galahorn. So this one has a hidden perk where it uh, actually will explode when it gets near to a target. But also it has tracking, so it'll track your targets and wolf pack rounds. This guy is pretty much the reason why um, Galahorn is the greatest. Rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation. So there are other weapons that actually split up into cluster missiles, but they don't track. Wolf backgrounds track. So that would be all of his exotics in there. So the rest would hopefully be in other characters, otherwise he lied to me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch and I will cut to the switched character. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with his warlock. So let's see what he has. So in here he has hard light, which I also have. <clears throat> so the perks that this guy has is glass half full. The bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage and volatile, vol yeah, volatile light rounds fired from this weapon over penetrate targets and ricochet on hard surfaces. He has no exotics there, and here he has truth. So, uh, yeah, this weapon has grenades and horseshoes. Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. Gellhorn also has this, like I mentioned already. And it has prototype true seeker. Rounds fired from this weapon seek their targets aggressively. So it's Gellhorn with all the cluster bombs and a larger blast radius. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to his other character, his titan. I'll be right back. And we are here with his titan. Let's see what he has. So he has another hard light, a duplicate. He has patience and time, an exotic sniper rifle. So it has third eye, radar stays active while aiming down weapon sights. And patience and time, you gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights. So I would like to get my hands on this, but it's not necessarily something I need. And then he has an extra Thunderlord. Now again, if if uh, he's actually missing something, tell me, because he thinks he has all of them. I, I think he has all of them too. I can't think of any other ones. Uh, Hawk Moon was the pistol. Hawk Moon was the PlayStation pistol that he does not have. I just remember that just now. All right. So that's going to have to do it. That's all the exotic weapons in the entire game. So I can go ahead and turn off the Xbox and uh, go to sleep because it is 1.20 in the morning. Good night, everybody. Have fun.